I'm at a gypsy. You're in a cool position. Like the content that you post is it's fucking gnarly. Like some of the shit that you're saying and doing, but it's like it needs to be said. It's the truth. Like bro. yeah, like someone has to fucking say it. Yeah. And and I know from doing this, like I mean, I'll it's like a way different lane. But it's like mm. I'm saying what I think on certain things, and like you know that you have to deal with like a whole bunch of bullshit coming yeah. back at you to have an opinion, and it's like. It actually does cost a lot to have an opinion these days oh, because yeah. you need to be ready for a f***ing wave of bullshit. Yep. And it's like, well, people don't like the truth, obviously. Like, the more you give out the truth and the more that they know that it's the truth, like, it, like and it infuriates them. Mm -hmm. And it's like, I have a problem where, like, I genuinely enjoy pissing people off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When I yeah, know yeah. that I'm in the right and it pisses someone off, it's like, let me see if I can do it again. And it's like... Now that I got like this, you know, I bought the dirt bike and it's like, I, I'm like, all right, I, now I want to put all my offensive shit on the bike. So if I'm going to piss you off off the track, I'm pissing you off on the track, dude. I'm putting my pronouns or slash you, bring back bullying on the swing arm. Like I'm loading this bitch up. And it's just like, I got a lot of backlash when I first started doing it, but it's like, I feel like more and more people are starting to like kind of agree with the shit that I'm saying because they're just seeing what goes on in the world. Yeah. And it's like. It's it's fucked up, bro. It's funny, eh? Like, uh, I try to uh, not like try to stay out of politics, but I just like try and do the show. Yeah. Like, even when the the, the flu was a thing, mm. I barely spoke about it. There was like a couple times because, like, man, there's enough shit going on. Yeah. But like, it's funny. I posted the little thing saying like, "Oh, it's time to do the pod," just because I knew we were doing it. Yeah. And I saw the fuck that sticker, and it's like, <laughs> it's. I don't even know if I'm being like overly political when I'm like doing that. Yeah. It's more of just like, can't you see how dumb this is? Like, I'm not really saying that I'm like pro anybody. I'm yeah. just like, if you're the kind of fucking person that's going to put that sticker on your car, yeah. you're an idiot. Yeah. And you should be roasted as such. I mean, it's, it's like people just don't realize what they know like that's what it is like they just like they aren't fully educated on shit like it's like that's why i always say like a lot of people shouldn't have be able to have a like access to the internet <laughs> like or even a phone <laughs> yeah. like you shouldn't be able to say the things that you like it's like you should have a limit to like what you could say and what could be said and it's just like people are just so it's the world we live in bro people yeah. are really stupid and i'm the same way i'm not even that big on the political shit either like i don't even know fully about it. for the longest time i didn't even know who the fuck our president was bro i'm just like <laughs> yeah i could just if if in my normal eye it, it looks crazy to me it's like how could anybody agree with that yeah i mean the whole transgender that's like a mentally yeah, yeah, ill yeah, thing yeah, dude yeah yeah i mean any normal person can agree that like if you're cutting your dick off at nine years old the parents should be put in fucking jail yeah that's just math and then that does leak into politics yeah because then there's people that are like trying to make that a thing yeah and they're like no 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 this is fine like there's i mean again not super educated but there's like laws that they're bringing in where if you are a school and you're like you're in a california school mm. and you're a teacher and the kid says to you i want to be this oh they pronoun. need to have permis permission from the kid yeah. in order to tell their parents yeah exactly yeah so it's like I don't want to live in that world, dude. Like, I I don't want to send Shit my kid to school. Homeschool them. And then, yeah, I'm going to 100%. But it's like, I don't want to live in that world. So, like, is that me being super political or is that me just being like, yo, can we fucking pump yeah. the brakes on like that? Or, like, chicks, chicks that are, like, fighting dudes – or dudes that are fighting chicks. Yeah, that's or wild. you know, like is there a line that we can kind of fucking draw here where we're all gonna kind of get on the same page with and it goes back to what you said, the truth. Like the truth is men and women are slightly different. Yeah. Men and women are capable of different things. Men should not be playing in women's sports. Yeah. Like I just I feel like there's a fucking pretty safe middle ground yeah. that we should be able to like be yeah. on board with. And we're just not living in that world and that's where you come in you know that's kind of like how i see it. i mean i'm I, I just like it's pointing out the obvious bro like it's like and that that's what infuriates me the most is like the men playing in the women's sports like that with that whole situation with that swimmer 
Yeah, like yeah. that shit's so fucked up. Uh, it's like sucks. I'm almost at the point now that I just want to cut my dick off and race women's 14 plus. I mean, I'd still probably get my ass beat at Loretta's <laughs> in those women's classes because yeah, they're I mean, fast. You would. <laughs> probably, I would be so. I'd be surprised if I'd even be able to qualify at Loretta's in that fucking class. But like, dude, I know I wouldn't. Like 100, percent I would not qualify for a 14 year old <laughs> no, girl. Dude, class. I probably wouldn't even qualify for the 50 class, dude. These motherfuckers are fast. That's bro. Mike Brown and Kiefer's in that shit. Yeah. Dude, that's fucking crazy. Yeah, that's it's just like, it's it's grooming. I mean, my my mom works yeah. at my high school that I went to, and she tells me all about it. She's like, we just got a new we got a new teacher that like yeah is like teaching pronouns to fucking kids. I mean, bro, your brain is not you even fully to developed to your like twenty five. You? I'm twenty four. Yeah, bro, you're still not developed. I'm no, I probably won't be developed for another decade. I'm It'll still, probably I'm, take a longer time. <laughs> I'm a little ways back, bro. My my update is still loading. I'm not even fully updated. You're on like dial up speed. Down <laughs> my software, software update software. is yeah. slowly buffering right now. <laughs> but like, yeah, bro, they like they teach that to kids, and it's just like it's just grooming. Yeah. Like it's child abuse in my yeah. eyes, and it's at the end of the day, you got to just look at the parents. It's like you are how you raised. Yeah, and the, and I just. Like, where does it come from, though? Like, why are we... That's a, I, I ask that question all the time. Like, this shit turned upside down, like, out of nowhere. Yeah. Like, I, this even sounds crazy, but, like, since when was, Ju like, June Gay Pride Month? Month. Like, dude, I'd be pissed if my birthday was in June. Yeah. I mean, military guys get one fucking day of the year, but you got a gay guy getting 30 days out of the year? Yeah. Like, that's ridiculous. And listen, I always get called homophobic and all this shit. I don't mind gay people at all. It's the motherfuckers that push it on other people that pisses me off. Yeah. It's like, bro, you do your thing. You don't got to tell the world that you're this. You don't got to run in a parade. You don't got to do this shit. You don't got to. Same thing as Lizzo. She's over here promoting obesity. Just be fat. Yeah. That's fine. Eat <laughs> yeah. your Twinkies. Do don't, it on your own. That's it. Don't <laughs> tell me to be a fat piece of shit. I don't want to do that. I want to yeah. be healthy. I want to go to the gym every day. All, yeah. Also, it's like, again, truth. Like, yeah. you, what you said at the start of the podcast is like the fucking most accurate thing. It's going to apply literally yep. to everything. I'm probably going to circle back to it 500 times. Yep. The truth is being crazy obese is not good for you. No. I made a That's shirt it. that says obesity is not healthy. It's not. Like, if you want to normalize obesity, okay, let's normalize slowly killing ourselves then. It's the same fucking thing. Yeah, just cigarettes. Yeah. Let's just get back on that Same wagon. Shit. Just yeah. keep smoking cigarettes. Do a hardcore drugs. I mean, I don't know. I, at this point, it's like we're normalizing the wrong shit. Yeah. It's just, and it's like, it's like, why? I yeah. don't understand it. I think too, like, and this is my, this is my, I'm going to like play devil's advocate. I'm going to like play the other side, right? Mm. There's just like this pendulum effect. So we had like crazy racism. Like that mm. was real. Yep. And we had crazy misogynism. And that was real. Oh, I used to get called that all the time. Uh, I, I'm glad that word. That words come and go. Like there's like misogyny, then there's yeah. gaslighting. Like yeah. everyone's gas. I'm like no, shut the fuck up. None of gaslighting. You yes, th no <laughs> one knows what the fuck this actually yeah. means in context. No. Please do stop saying it to me. But it's like we did have a bunch of fucked up shit like not that long ago, mm. and I think it's just like the pendulum goes this way, and then it's like eventually it just kind of settles in the middle that's what i'm hoping no, is gonna man. is gonna happen because like there there is a lot of people that were fucking marginalized heavily and that were abused for you know like gay people should not be abused yeah for being gay like that i'm i feel like that's cool but then it's like now i'm being abused for being fucking straight yeah <laughs> so it's like and what? i'm like i'm racist because i'm straight now it's like it's like <laughs> yeah, and it's crazy because yeah. like nowadays if you come out as gay it's like everybody applauds it mm. they make it such a big thing it's like bro like i'm good i'd like staying in my own lane like i mean listen racing dirt bikes growing up made me very straight yes and that's what made me re that's why when i started posting i was writing everybody in my comment section was like oh it makes sense uh, like that's I am the way that I am because of motocross, 100%. I mean, yeah. falling, getting hurt, like having, you know, tough parents. My parents were hard as shit on me. I mean, yeah. that's what we need to bring back. We need to bring back the belt. Yeah. Kids don't even get beat no more, bro. Where'd you grow up? New York. Right. So I'm like an East East Coast guy. Fuck Like yeah. when I come out here, I'm yeah. like, what the fuck is going on out here? <laughs> I'm seeing shit on the floor and shit. <laughs> yeah. And you don't even know if it's dog shit or human shit. <laughs> I'm yeah. like, damn, did a dog lay that down? Because that's pretty impressive. Nah, it's fucking homeless man Jimmy down the end of the block laying steamers down. <laughs> Does it every day. Yeah, this is his spot. Dude, I go out to LA. 
Oh, God. I've never seen so many blue-haired people in my life, dude. I can't. It's hectic. I, it's either, it's either uh, yeah, really colorful. Qu- like, people that you only used to see at Warp Tour or homeless people. Yeah. That's it. That's, like, the demo. I like my East Coast side, bro. You know what it is, too? Like, because we drove out here. So yeah, yeah. we like we got to a part where we were in like Texas where everyone's like super fucking nice and it was like getting to the point Texas where like Texas is sick, eh? sick as hell. But I'm like, all right, you guys are being way too nice. Someone needs to tell me to shut the fuck up, like either, or go fuck myself, <laughs> one or the other. Like yeah, I need yeah, to, yeah. I need to be yelled. Where's at. the horns? I yeah. need some fucking horns blowing up. Like I'm so used to this all the time when I'm in like in New York because it's like everybody like hates their life over there. If you enjoyed this content, please like and subscribe. And to listen to the full three-hour podcast, search Gypsy Tales in your favorite podcast platform or click the link in the description below. Gypsy Gang.